only way out is through. You don't get out by avoiding it, you have to actually go through. It's the idea that the symptoms are a message coming from your higher consciousness. The real alchemy is turning your consciousness to gold. It isn't making metal gold, but it's turning your consciousness to gold. It's the transformation of an old belief to a new belief. Mm -hmm. It's the transformation of letting yourself be changed by love. Mm -hmm. That's the real alchemy. Mm -hmm. See, and the, even the term alchemy, that's something that came to me since coming back from becoming more. Because the mm -hmm. other concepts I've been playing with was time. Like quantum time, right? There's all these versions of ourselves. And can we entrain to that higher version of ourselves and bring that future to us? So one of the things I'm going to be bringing to the new Becoming More workshop is a new technique that I've been developing. And just like when we were doing the Becoming More workshop last time, mm -hmm. I knew that the intelligence of the workshop was going to figure out how to orchestrate mm -hmm. it better. I had the information, but how are we gonna, how are we gonna manage ourselves to be able to, to share it in the best possible way? Well, I've got this new technique for longevity and I have some really good ideas on how to do it but I think the intelligence of the group is going to figure out a more elegant way of working with it. But it has to do with time and the simultaneousness of time. And I did some experiments on myself and I could see the indications and whispers that I have tapped in on something really profound. And I've also had other experiences that suggest that we can work through time. Mm -hmm. But this time we're going to work with it on a much more dynamic level. Mm -hmm. And we will work simultaneously with the future and the past mm -hmm. to be able to um, slow, potentially stop, and even potentially reverse aging. So that's something I'm excited about. I think the concept of time is fascinating. And it's something I've been playing with a lot the past couple of years. And it, it started with just sending energy back to myself because that's what we learned exactly. in level one. But then when I noticed the shifts in my present day, like when I started doing this, it was sending to when I was pregnant with a child or at childbirth and sending to that. But I was surprised by how much that shifted mm -hmm. my relationship with the child now. Or like my one son, he doesn't like to be told about change or like we have to go here now or we're leaving in five minutes. Like he doesn't like any of that. And when I started running energy into that, I realized that I was induced with him. So now I'm what? sending energy to myself. And in that moment when he was induced and giving him that space, but I'm surprised by how much it shifted how I relate to him now. These, these kinds of discoveries were, is something I'm really looking at working with in this workshop. And what we did last time was so exciting because I had never seen a group of about 45 people all go into states of bliss. By the end of the workshop, every single person in the room was like experiencing intense. You saw it, everybody was blissed out. Now, on the first day there was some challenge and I was challenged to, to receive that much love. I wasn't accustomed to having people loving me this way and so I was kind of like oh, grinding against it a little bit but by the end everybody had melted and surrendered more to the gifts that we were able to give each other and that was really exciting to see mm -hmm. how deeply we could be changed by the love well mm -hmm. I think what happens is over time it just gets easier and easier to receive that but as we would start working dimensionally, we're going to be able to see even more profound changes happening. Another thing I'm looking to do in this workshop that I didn't do last time, and I've been experimenting with, it is incredible. But we're going to work with trauma. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to the highest places we've ever been in our life. And we're also going to be feeding that love to the darkest times we've ever had. Mm -hmm. We're not only going to be creating a new future, we're also creating a new past. Mm -hmm. And this will create a much deeper integration. And the other thing is, because this work taps so deeply into the whole core of a person's psychological structure, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And they're tapping into deeper levels of allowance and love and joy. But it's also got to bring up the blockages and the reasons we weren't going to allow that in the first place. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go into the brightest places, but you're also going to see the shadow mm -hmm. in the meantime. But we're going to consciously work on some of the deeper shadow places mm -hmm. and bring more light to those places. And mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you're done with your process, but you're coming back again for more as, as I am too. I'm, I had, this is the only workshop I ever taught that I fully attending myself. <laughs> and I'm, I think what's going to happen is it's like climbing a ladder. Mm -hmm. you, you get to the next rung and the next rung and the next rung, and maybe you go down one or two, but you keep going up higher. And each time I experience sharing the gifts with other people, mm -hmm. it goes in deeper and holds more deeply for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm really looking forward to mm -hmm. my experience and not just teaching this. Well, and that's exciting because I've been playing with a lot of my own <clears throat> trauma. So I think of that moment that, or like that memory that's just like emotionally charged and I bring mm -hmm. myself there. And now it's yeah. like in my future self and my present self comforting my younger self. And can we pull her through that and show that's, her that she's loved? That's and exactly then, what we're going to do. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> It's exactly where we're going. So you're tapping in already. You're right. we're on we're holding this wavelength and you're yeah. already tapping in yeah. on where we're going with this work. But yeah. can you imagine the extra energy mm -hmm. of the group mm -hmm. sharing that dimensionally more mm -hmm. powerful mm -hmm. energies of love? And then we funnel that like a laser mm -hmm. to do deeper and more profound healing where the traumas were. Well, and I know for myself, when I do this, I mean, first of all, I don't feel alone because I know that there's future versions mm -hmm. of myself that love me unconditionally and they're going to come and be there with me too. Yes. And I've noticed in those like traumatic moments, I go into a freeze and I like, I can't move. And I notice I'm like stuck and it's like, I can let myself bring myself through that. Exactly. And so we're going to tap in on the resources of the future self, mm -hmm. the higher self, mm -hmm. and then and then all the the dynamics of the power of the moment. And then we're going to be able to channel that to heal the past. But then we're also going to be using that energy in a new future where we're going to work with the deeper level sense of longevity and work with parts mm -hmm. of the brain mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. and other physical things that we can do in this mm -hmm. present moment. And what's interesting is I continue my own regimes of improving myself. Mm -hmm. I am getting so much stronger than I was even a couple months ago mm -hmm. when I was there. And my body is in the shape I was in college now. Mm -hmm. hmm. and I'm much, But I'm much stronger than I was when I was in college. Mm -hmm. At this time and that's just not supposed to happen but <laughs> i'm i'm putting on muscle in my mid-70s very very much so very easily with no soreness mm -hmm. so we're really going to be breaking down a lot of the old barriers of what mm -hmm. people thought was possible mm -hmm. well and it's funny that you say that in this time since cancun i've gotten a gym membership and i go and every time i go to the gym i always end up in the sauna and i do a cold shower and it's i feel clearer but all of that just it felt right and like sure it takes time out i'm a mom i have a business yeah. all this stuff da 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 but i was like no that's a priority like those are yeah. non-negotiables and yeah. It's like I'm leading from that space now. Well, what happens is when you change deeply enough, it's automatic that you want to feel better mm -hmm. because you're feeling so much better emotionally. Mm -hmm. Well, what can I do? How can I give up sugar? Or how can I give up seed oils? Or how can I do make these little highly significant changes that will completely change your field because the better you feel, the better you feel. Mm -hmm. The better you feel physically, the better you feel emotionally. The better you feel emotionally, the better you feel physically. Mm -hmm. And we work with all levels simultaneously mm -hmm. to create 
a new present and a new future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I don't drink as much coffee. I don't eat as much sugar. Uh, yeah. yeah, but but I don't feel like I'm missing out either. No, you're not. And mm -hmm. I've completely stopped coffee. I used to, here in Mexico, I'd have like a shot of mezcal <laughs> once or twice a week. It just felt, but it's not working for me. It doesn't make me feel better. Mm -hmm. And so my diet is probably, I'd say, well, pretty close to 100% of what I think I want to be doing for myself. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I'm doing, actually, that isn't my choice. Mm -hmm. of what I think I should, what I think is best for me. Mm -hmm. And as that evolves week by week, it's changing, but it's not because I have to have cheat days or something like this. We, the healthier you get, the the more inclined you are to become healthier. Mm -hmm. Well, and the one thing, kind of like what you said there is, it's this idea in my mind that I don't have to control my body. Like before it was like, I have to go to the gym three times a week or I can't eat this or whatever. There was like rules. Right. But now it's like, instead of trying to control my body, I'm connecting with my body. And instead of, it's more of a, what do I want? And it's then I'm guided, I feel like I want the good stuff because it, it makes me feel better. Yes. It's you're simply making choices and you're not battling yourself about the choices you're making. You're just making these choices. Mm -hmm. And they feel right. And the more you make choices that feel right, the more empowered you are. Because mm -hmm. you're not only following your own internal guidance, mm -hmm. but then you feel good about having followed your own internal guidance. And that creates a positive feedback loop. And positive feedback loop is one of the real stories of what we're creating here. Mm -hmm. Because in the whole idea of becoming more, the more you connect with yourself, the more joyous you become, the more exuberant, mm -hmm. and the more you want to continue doing that. Mm -hmm. So there's two ways of growth that I've heard. One is through fear and anger. That I choose, I choose to go to work because of fear and anger. Mm -hmm. Fear if I don't go to work and anger, if what will happen to me if I don't go to work. Or you could also be motivated by love and gratitude. Mm -hmm. I'm really wanting to work on my new book and I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to share it to people and have it impact the world in a deeper way. So you have to choose. Mm -hmm. Do you want to continue the old way of fear and anger? But why do you go to the gym? Love and gratitude mm -hmm. of wanting to be healthier, wanting to be have more energy to, to love the people that you love and live the life that you choose to live. It's fun. I, well, I'll run energy when we're at the gym and we were doing this one. It was like a lifting class, but it was like running the energy. And then we were in sync with the music and with each other. And it was just this like rhythm and it felt so good for me. Like I was able to lift so much more. Mm -hmm. And then the instructor's like, it's like we're dancing. I was like, yeah, everyone was just so in sync. And then it was like, I lost track of what rep we were on. And yeah. that was powerful. Exactly. And that's what happens when you're in that perfect mm -hmm. flow. Mm -hmm. You're in that complete flow of the moment. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, this yeah. is great. Yeah. I'm excited. And because like the way I think about it, I was like, well, there's peer pressure. But I was like, peer pressure can be a good thing. Like we after that class, I was like, there's this natural want to be in rhythm and flow with the people around us. And then it was bringing in that idea of coherence, coming together in that vibration. Exactly. And even competition can be fun because mm -hmm. if the idea is, it's not so much about me beating you. It's like, can I be my best? Mm -hmm. can, I, can you be your best? Can we compete mm -hmm. and try to each be our most joyous best in that process and can i can you bring out the best in me can i bring out the best in you mm -hmm. and winning or losing is a byproduct but it's not really what it's about it's like i play golf most of my life mm -hmm. and can i have that level of impeccability mm -hmm. can i have the mind body set so deeply attuned to itself 
that I can beat myself mm -hmm. and and become more. And that's mm -hmm. what the whole thrust is. It's mm -hmm. always, can we become more? Because mm -hmm. this is what spiritual evolution is all about. It's about becoming more. Mm -hmm. And you can do it in every single corner of your life. <clears throat> you can work mm -hmm. to become more. Mm -hmm. Can I do a little bit better? Not because I'm coming from lack mm -hmm. or fear and anger, mm -hmm. but because well, if I could raise my energy a little bit more, I could love my child more. Mm -hmm. I could have more energy for my spouse. I could be, I could be healthier. I could be an inspiration to myself mm -hmm. and others by becoming more. Mm -hmm. And that's what becoming more is really all about. Mm -hmm. It's to be, what, what was that, what they say in the army, <clears throat> be all you can be. Well, this is more in a deeper spiritual sense than, yeah. than being the best soldier, but it's yeah. to being the best self. Mm -hmm. But then I was also bringing in the idea when we share gifts, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And it's, can I entrain to that gift and bring that in and experience that too? And like, almost like add the energy and it's, Cause it's like, once it's possible for me that other people can know it's possible and then it's easier and more possible for other people. So it's just this, like, what is possible? And I think in, exploring yes. in that curiosity, that has been fun. Yeah. Exploring with curiosity and joy is a great, great way to open yourself up. And in that process of sharing the gifts with each other, one-on-one, -on -one, we were all challenged, like, wow, this person has this amazing gift and can I open it up? Can I feel it? Well, if I can feel 3% of it, that's more than I have now. Mm -hmm. It was funny because you remember that fellow, that tall guy who uh, said, I make beautiful music. Mm -hmm. And I, we weren't ever connecting, so I just came up to him one, one moment and say, listen, I really want to receive your gift. And I've been composing on, I've been learning how to play piano keyboard. I picked it up a few years ago and I've just been learning every day. And I've been creating these melodies. And a friend of mine has this extraordinarily precocious daughter who was writing on a college level when she was 11. Mm -hmm. And she's, I was encouraging her to start singing because she had a great voice. Mm -hmm. And now she's putting lyrics to some of my music that I'm writing. And I did compose this after that man shared his gift with me. So we just never know how these gifts are going to express themselves and manifest inside of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially music. Music is so powerful. <clears throat> I've noticed well, we have a little record player and I wanted that so the kids could just put on music. But the two records they're obsessed with are these hooked on classics. Like they will wow. hear the music going and they will run from wherever they are in the house to be in the living room so that they can listen to that music. And then they'll start drawing or reading or, and then suddenly we're all just sitting in the living room doing activities together. Isn't that the best? That oh, is it's so cool. And those yeah. records, I found them on the side of the road. Like it was just so random how that came into our house. Uh, and it's become the favorite thing, which is really cool. Well, and that's that's really the, the message is when people follow their passion, mm -hmm. they're on track with themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we were looking to do is how do we get completely on track with ourselves through this work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, One month into coming more. It. So, yeah, it's good. It's going to be it was so much fun. I'm going to stay for a couple of days afterwards just to hang out in the energy, just hang out with the people who choose to remain afterwards mm -hmm. and to, to celebrate mm -hmm. because you don't want to be on your phone. You don't want to be watching streaming, whatever you want to be inside yourself mm -hmm. and integrate the gifts mm -hmm. because imagine if you had, like some kind of celebration where everybody brought you a gift. But the whole living room and the entire house is filled with gifts. There's more gifts than you have time to even open. Mm -hmm. You're overflowing. Mm -hmm. 
Can you feel the gratitude of all these gifts? Or is it too much? Well, this is too much. This workshop is always going to be too much. But the fact that you can open even a few percent to any or all of these gifts, some of them we open widely to and others we open a little tiny bit to and some maybe we're not ready for yet. Mm -hmm. But that's the challenge. And that's what's so exciting about this workshop is that it is the best challenge I could ever imagine is to let that much love in. No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe I can let a little in. Maybe I can let a little more in. Mm -hmm. My God, I'm in a different space. Mm -hmm. This is unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. Do I dare? Do I well, dare? as you said that, I was like, well, can we bring our like future self in to show us how to bring in this love when we feel like we can't <laughs> hold it? That's exactly what we're going to be doing. And it's it's so interesting because it's not about explaining the workshop. It's about experiencing the workshop. Yeah. And and so if somebody in the workshop has an idea like you just brought forth about, well, can we let the future self in? You might say, sure, let's do that now. Let's really see how we can feel that. And we can learn how to work with this new future and heal the broken past and be more present in the in the moment. You know, the, the shallow version is be here now. Mm -hmm. But that's shallow because what about my bank account? How do I pay my mortgage, right? Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to heal the past dream the future, and live in the present. Mm -hmm. We need to integrate all parts. We need to heal that broken child, adolescent, young adult. We need to be completely in ourselves in the moment and have, be fed by the future. And so that's one of the things I'm talking about in my new book, which is how the future is a wave breaking on the shore of the present and how we actually have evidence that the future is a wave that's breaking on the present but we can connect with that future mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. anyway i'm really yeah and up. as you're saying that i was bringing up these themes that i've been thinking mm -hmm. about is like part of the way i like i feel i stay stuck in areas because i feel like i need to heal all this before i can move forward but then I know the moment I connect forward into the future, it's like, okay, now I have somewhere to go and I have a direction and then I yeah. can move. And it's almost like riding a bike. If you're riding a bike and looking down where you are, you're not going to get very far. But if you can like look out and see where you're going, now you can take the energy of the past that's stuck and bring it into the future. It's also the analogy of the bike is really interesting because you can't ride the bicycle standing still. Mm -hmm. You have to have momentum. Mm -hmm. And the more momentum you have, the easier it is to stay upright. Mm -hmm. If you try to just stay in one place, it's very hard to maintain upright. Mm -hmm. But if you're going five, 10 miles an hour, it's very, very easy to remain upright. Well, what we're doing is we're giving ourselves momentum. Mm -hmm. This workshop is about creating motion and momentum. And as we create this dynamic interplay between the past and the future and the present, the past and the future, we're, we're spinning the wheel. We're actually creating the momentum of growth. <laughs> well, as you say that, to ride a bike, you have to go forward. You have to go back, right? You're, it's, yeah. It is mm -hmm. the cycle of all of that. Exactly. And mm -hmm. the worst place to be is to try to stand still. Mm -hmm. That's when you fall over. Mm -hmm. And by having that dynamic of the future pulling us mm -hmm. into it, mm -hmm. he healing the past so the past can let go. The past is, is the part that's stuck. Mm -hmm. That's the bicycle mm -hmm. trying to stand still, is mm -hmm. the past being stuck. Mm -hmm. And as the, we heal the past, the, the stuckness can let go. The future can pull us forward. Mm -hmm. And then our moment is momentum. Mm -hmm. And that's perhaps a new way of thinking about this workshop is that we're creating momentum to pull us into a new future, a much more joyous, loving, mm -hmm. and satisfying future than we've ever seen previously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I, I just love the analogy of the bicycle. I just keep thinking of like where you're the pedal and I'm like, it's so, cause yeah, there is that element of healing the past, but it's always to go forward. Yes. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. And if you understand the synchronicity of our health conditions or traumas that we've experienced, they, we can't find the light until we explore the darkness. Mm -hmm. And so we went into these dark places so we could discover the light because you need contrast to see things. Mm -hmm. So by healing those traumatic experiences, frees them up to allow a new future to come in. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to be focusing on in the Becoming More workshop. We're going to free up the past, allow these gifts to propel us forward, and the, the future self. And there's thousands of future selves. We're going to find the ones that feel most connected mm -hmm. and let that feed us. Mm -hmm. Just like we did with the uh, hacking the law of attraction, how you find the preferred future mm -hmm. that is going to feed the present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I'm excited. <laughs> Well, we're going to do it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great to see you. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I'm already having people message me saying I'm coming to Florida. I'm like, awesome. Because I mean, most of my work is all virtual. So I get to meet people, but not in person. So I'm really excited to meet people in person and just further this work, right? It's like an evolution and just exploring. It, it's going to be so much fun. And, um, uh... Thank mm -hmm. you so much. I really appreciate all your work you're doing. And uh, and it's just so amazing because everybody's bringing their gifts. Mm -hmm. Everybody has so many gifts to give. Mm -hmm. And well, just like we've been having these insights, it'll be really exciting to hear what everybody else's insights are that's going to come together too, right? Because I feel like we've kind of made some connections here, but just imagine when you have more people and we put it all together. And what I love is, is that so many people are coming back mm -hmm. because they got this incredible boost mm -hmm. and then you kind of get caught in your life and, you know, it's not that like it's gone, but it's just, mm -hmm. you want the next boost mm -hmm. to take you to the next level. And what's going to happen when this is, I've done this five or 10 or 20 times mm -hmm. and continue to be uplifted each time. Mm -hmm. because there's no limit to how much joy we can experience while we're alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I think like, why not? Why not? Exactly. exactly. And like, after having a conversation like this, going back and having a conversation <laughs> about drama or gossip or all of that, I'm just like, oh, it doesn't feed me the same way it used to. Like, this is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to surround ourselves with people who are on a similar wavelength mm -hmm. because it becomes very obvious that this isn't mm -hmm. feeding me. I need mm -hmm. to, I need to talk to somebody where we're doing this game and not this game mm -hmm. where we're lifting ourselves up constantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like where it's almost like I'm always asking myself, like, what is the beauty in this or, or what is the beauty I'm not seeing in this? Yes. Beautiful question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's normally well, what I ask myself if I'm feeling low or down or any of that. And then just, but then I'm like, this was a moment to bring me in. So what's the gift? Exactly. What is the gift of this moment that you are? What is the gift in this pain or this suffering or this isolation or this drama? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the easiest ways to think about the gift is what don't you like about it? Mm -hmm. Well, what would the opposite of that be? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's reminding you, you want to go that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is taking you in this direction that you can't stand. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's a gift there. I don't like that. That's the gift. The gift is I want this other thing. So the desire and the motivation and the willingness to look at the dark place that you've gone into mm -hmm. is part of the gift as well. It's what I call the dark miracle, mm -hmm. that you're going into these, this darkness as the first step of a miracle. Mm -hmm. And it's not random. 
-hmm. It's exactly what you need to see, however painful it might be, but it's exactly what needs to be explored mm -hmm. and confronted at that moment. Mm -hmm. And as we know, if we're willing to con if we're willing to go there, we can go through. A friend of mine had the song she used to sing, and one of the main chorus was the only way out is through. Mm -hmm. You don't get out by avoiding it. You have to actually go through it. Mm -hmm. There's like anyway. a children's book about that. It's like, can't go over it, can't go under it, have to go through it. That's oh, like I, I had heard that one, but it sounds really good. <laughs> no, I've had that song kind of like in my mind as I, something comes up, right? And I'm like, oh, yes. this is, I like this. It's more of a playful, fun way of, instead of falling into, as my husband and I like to call it, the pit of bloom and despair. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it That's not like. as much fun. Um, but yeah, kind of having that little ditty song play in my mind makes it a little more fun and exciting to explore. <laughs> makes perfect sense. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's wrap this up mm -hmm. and I will see you in February. This is going to be so much fun. Sounds and I good. invite anybody who's watching this to come join it mm -hmm. and bring your gifts mm -hmm. and be prepared to be challenged mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the very best kind of way. Mm -hmm. And make some good friends. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's going to be fantastic. Awesome. So I'll have all the details in the description and people can join us. Awesome. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much, Richard. See you in okay. a month.